hello, we are Hughes Lightning with the Lego League team, and we're proud to have made it this the state competition. Um, last year, we went for we went for as many challenges as possible on the board. That was food factor. We we used the simplest mechanics and the simplest programming possible to get so many tasks done. It got us far. It got us all the way to second place in the playoffs last year, and that was a feat in itself. But this year, we're trying for something different. This year, what we discover is more important than what we win. This year, we're sacrificing the possibility that we might lose for growth. And this shows in our great large attachments that we're going to be showing you later, right now, actually. So at the beginning of the year, we divide this board up into zones. Let's just say this was zone next. one, zone zone two, zone one, zone two, yeah. zone three, and zone four. Yeah. This is zone one. So what we did was we made super advanced mechanics. So all a robot had to do was go forward. And it could do three challenges at once. And then it backs up so that doesn't interfere with that. And then we couldn't do the dog because we... So that gets left off by my... my yeah, because yeah, otherwise yeah. it would bother this. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. So we, we didn't do the dog though because... We couldn't um, like have a chance to press this button while doing all this. Okay. So in the, in before the roll, we just decided to carry the dog to base. But instead, we just but the rule said you had to push this, so we were trying to find a way. To find start. a way to push that pesky thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys are going by the pound. Okay. So look at all those rubber bands and springs. Holy moly! And that's why. Oh, sorry. Go, keep going. This is zone three. Um, it will do these weights, this, the bowling, and, and spin this one. Sometimes it even strike. Okay. Sometimes when it starts. It yeah. starts. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we have to do spare. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm sorry. just gonna make sure it doesn't fail by. Is that? Is it okay yeah, if I like put my hand on it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Touch it as much as you want. So right now we're proportional line following while this color sensor is sensing for the green weight. Yeah. And then once it does it, this, this, oh, and then that comes that down oh. and it. Oh. And then after this, it's going to turn. It's going to use these weights here to pull up the weights. And at the same time, shoot the ball Woo! and then there, there right. bowling. And, and it spins that. And it also spins that. And this is zone three. And then we ask the dirt to take the ball off oh. and, and load it into you. this ramp here. Okay. Now, if we get a strike, then we will just leave it there. Okay. So this is zone four. This this run pretty much makes the robot travel around the table doing tasks along the way. Yep. Yep. Zone four. So zone four. Go ahead. Zone four is the shopping, the video call, and the bowling, and just an additional thing that that's actually part of zone two. But since there's two parts of the chairs, um, of the chair, we just we take it back here. Okay. So, then so you're actually not running, you're just pushing it by hand yep. and stuff? Okay. This is a proportional line follow again. Make sure our distance is accurate with this green line because our proportional control is not good is not really good, good distance. R D E S. Then we also line on this line, so we align both dimensions. Okay. Then we align on this wall to make sure we're straight. And then, say the ball was here. We'll get both rings and choose the ball. Then we'd ask the judges to take the ball off, and we'd go back. And this, as you can see, shuts using the rubber bands here. Yeah, and is this the right height? Does that meet the height requirement? Yep, yeah, we, yeah. Made, we made a stick <laughs> ourselves to make okay. sure. Okay. So then, so you this, got that one there and that one uh -huh. this oh. comes along and comes down lines on this wall. This flops back so it can make yeah, it past here, but it's not that. too floppy so it can't push that. We used to just come along and do it and not align on this wall and hit the green line, but that, first of all, was un unreliable and it took too much time. So then we turned two wheels so we can be clear of this. Bec but since two wheels is not reliable, we turn the rest of the way one wheel and we align on this wall. All right, next, what happens? We go straight. We hope not to hit anything. And what we do, we turn, we get this. And if, and if this doesn't get, um, if this little uh, floppy yeah. thing doesn't get the chair, what happens is we have this come out and make sure it's like extra protection to make so sure it's fail it safe. So in case it doesn't hit it, that'll yep. yeah. just pull it. 
right. Okay, so your RDS time is over, but I can keep going because this is really cool. Okay. So Thanks. let's see, you have another attachment? This, yep. just one, this, this is the last one. attachment. Your simplest <laughs> attachment. Yeah. Okay. But we're and we can like share with you. Evidently. So last year you were really simple, and this year you went hog wild on complicated. What yes. what happened? Why did you choose to go? Uh, we wanted to like do more challenges and like learn more and yeah, we build. really want to grow. Okay, yeah, so, grow. So, right, so 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 some of these 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 mechanical devices are 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 incredible. How Thanks. did you go about designing these things? All right, so, so yeah. Lots of it, and then, and then. So how how much time are we talking? How much time? How often do you mean? Until yesterday in the last setting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right. So we first go out here, and we we use this the fact that this line is broken up to our advantage, so we can align using the light sensors on this island specifically we to get a, us. We have a proportional control line, um, line not following, but um, aligning program that uses two light sensors to um, align the robot perpendicular to the line. All right. So, so can you turn the robot upside down so I can see the bottom, please? Okay, so you have... Wait, wait a second. Yeah, take off this attachment. Hey. All right, grab the attachment. Yep, okay. So you have two light sensors, and yep. you were saying you were doing a proportional line follower, so my guess is you were only using Software. one light sensor mm -hmm. at that point in time? Yes, yeah. half of it would be on black, half of it would be on white. We searched in advance of having yep. two light sensors per... Um, and then one was seen green. Okay, so how many of you were involved in the software on this thing? All of them. All of them. Okay, that's a fantastic answer, except for I need only one or two of you to come talk to me about software. So can you elect amongst yourselves right. one or two? I mean, how about we get Steve? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. We made, in the, in the software, we... Right, software, you can go in that corner. Software-wise, um... We have our moves accelerate and decelerate. Yeah, right. so this is actually all done. Done. So Here's our software. Cool. It's pretty so now the we use the acceleration So this is all we fixed this okay, maximum so base. These, so now we're going to go forward. Yes, my These, we only use them for a time. So it usually get up. Yeah, it starts up. So now it's going to turn. And we this lever we would normally, like this, would normally pull this, getting our ball balance. Then this is like, 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 like,